Well, let's go back to your childhood, Neil. Uh, you first became interested in astronomy and all things space during a trip to the Hayden Planetarium in New York at the age of nine. I want to know, do you remember the first time you actually looked through a telescope? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What was um, that experience I was, like for you? Um, it was a sort of star party. This was in Massachusetts, in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And I was um, in seventh grade. And uh, this now would have been, I would have been 11, maybe. Yeah, 11. And, is that 11? Uh, I was 11. And the star party, they had telescopes set up. You know, the star party, they're amateur astronomers typically who, who bring out their wares and show them off, really. I mean, if you, if, if, if you want to learn how to buy a telescope, don't read books. Just go to a star party and ask an amateur astronomer who brought the telescope, tell me about your scope. <laughs> You'll get a half hour. Well, we did this and I bought these lenses and I cleaned these and I redesigned that. And so you get quite a schooling. Uh, when you have that kind of exposure. But in any event, I, on that evening, I, I saw the craters on the moon. Uh, you see Saturn's rings are quite spectacular, particularly if you've never seen them before. And I'd seen the moon through binoculars before, mm. and that was quite striking because the moon wasn't just bigger as you'd expect binoculars to be, to, mm. to provide for you. It was better. So you could almost reach out and touch the craters and the mountains and the valleys. And my first time looking through binoculars preceded my first time looking through a telescope. That's common, of course. Binoculars are much more available. Mm -hmm. um, but I, that might have been around 1969, I mean, when we were first going to the moon. So to know we're headed to the moon and then pull out binoculars and see the moon in a way where it does not translate in a photo or in a... Um, and you're not, you're not just enlarging what you're seeing. There's much more the resolution available to you <laughs> when you use binoculars. And so I could see texture and mm -hmm. mountains and valleys and craters and hills. And, and so I just viewed the universe as this limitless place of inquiry. It and really, It really changes your perspective, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, for me, I wouldn't say that it changed my perspective because I don't think I went in with one. It definitely added to my <laughs> to my perspectives. Good point. And and it 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 set me on a journey of cosmic inquiry.